Hi y'all, Dan here. Thanks for joining me. Well, hey y'all. Thanks for joining me today. I have been excited to bring you on this trip. I am on Burkhead Mountain and uh, just about to the top of the first big climb. When you come into the trailhead, you're greeted with a, a small water crossing. You're gonna get your feet wet, and then you, uh, you go start in this climb. And for the first mile in, it's the elevation is roughly about 1,500 feet up. Uh, really not too bad, but it's, this is hiking. Come along with me and let's go and explore this trail. I want to show you these rocks. Well, this says it's 1.1 mile to Camp 3, which is where I'm sort of planning on spending the night. Uh, but it's much too early for that. So I think what I'm going to do is walk down to Camp 3. There's another camp that's on down from that, Camp 5. So I'm going to check those out. And then I'm going to come back here and take South Burkhead Mountain Trail. This is called Fern Valley. This little stream wraps around just a whole forest of ferns. Yeah, really pretty. Well, let's get back on the trail. That's something. Love this outcropping. There's quartz and marble, granite, all through here. We're definitely on an old mountain. Full of majesty. Okay, we're almost to the camp, so let's keep going. Well, here's a neat old tree. Looks like something an owl would make a home in. Isn't that fun?
this old tree makes me think of a an old married couple. There they are in two, but then watch this. The two become one. And the one looks like he's putting an arm around his bride. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I was campsite three and I was surprised there were three couples there. It's not a very big campsite area. So I kept on going and uh, discovered that I had gone down into a little valley and so it's been quite a hike to come back up out of that but now I'm at campsite 5 and I had to come back down to a water source and get some water tonight now I've got to go back up this hill again that's all right the sun has come out and it's a beautiful day Well, that hill is deceiving. Didn't seem like it was that much going down to that water, but coming back up was a challenge. But I'm back to, uh, to Camp 5. So let me just give you a flip around. Let me give you a tour of the campsite. While Camp 3 was packed, Camp 5 is wide open. With the exception of my little palace. This is my you know, Lanshan 2. Thanks to Senior Hiker 77. I watched his review on this and thought, well, I need something that's light, but I need something that's also light on the pocketbook. And uh, I took his suggestion and I am very pleased. I'll show you something else that I got. Uh, I watched Bigfoot and he was recommending this bear bag called an Ursac. It has a liner that you can buy separately. It's a little double locked uh, odor proof liner that you can put your food in and then you you put that sack in the ursac and it's made out of this bulletproof material. Tomorrow when I leave here I'm going to go south and that'll take me all the way around a big loop. This is the trail that I came in well, I would have come in on had I not bypassed this section and taken the camp trail. And the camp trail makes its own loop 
and it goes down to Camp 3 and then curves around and then comes back up the mountain to Camp 5. And that is quite a little climb, but it's just gorgeous out. Well, I'm tucked in for the first night, and uh, as you can hear, we've got a storm going on. So this is on our maiden voyage. Uh, we get this unexpected storm, and uh, this, this tent is solid, it's holding up well. So I'm excited about that. But uh, yeah, it's quite a storm. And so, as I shut down for the for the night, I just want to wish you all well. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless.